Hello and welcome back to another episode of Technical Tuesdays. This is the series where we explore how different parameters within injection molding can affect the final part of the product. In this episode, we're going to explore how machine maintenance, or lack of, can affect the part that you're producing. If you've watched our previous episodes, then hopefully by now, you'll understand the stages of the injection molding process and what each function of the machine does. The machines that we use undergo heavy use both day and night to fulfill our customers' orders, which inevitably leads to some wear and tear and eventually a failure if the machines are not properly maintained. Machine maintenance is something we take very seriously at HiMed. Our machines are our investments and we need to keep them running to fulfill our orders. One of the most basic and frequent forms of machine maintenance is purging the barrel. Purging the barrel not only ensures that the barrel mechanism works as it should, but it also ensures that there's no contamination of other materials. We use a multitude of different polymers at HiMid, ranging from nylon to TPE. Often, if the polymer in the hopper differs in chemical composition from the polymer residue in the barrel, it will not behave as expected in the mould and the part will not be made to specification. The example we're going to use in this episode is the transom showerhead by Monster Sims, which is designed to be installed in luxury yachts and is made using a two-shot injection process. The showerhead comprises of an ASA or acrylonitrile styrene acrylate substrate and a TPE, otherwise known as thermoplastic elastomer second shot. Unfortunately, we don't have an example of contamination on the showerhead but here's an example of contamination on another part. You can see that if we don't purge the barrel before starting production, we get all sorts of contamination. This is because there were remnants of the polymer that we used in the previous production run. To rectify this issue, we must push the remaining remnants of the contaminant polymer out of the barrel and screw. To do this, we use the polymer from the current product, heating it and using the screw to push it out of the barrel picking up the remaining remnants as it goes. This might have to be done several times before the contaminant is purged from the barrel. As you can see from our example, when we maintain our machines properly, the parts we produce are free of contamination and the form is to the exact specifications set by the customer. The part will look and fit together as intended. So that's it for our episode on machine maintenance and purging the barrel. As always, we hope that you learned something and enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please let us know down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next episode.